All right, so today we're gonna do a little uh, demonstration here to how to do some socket weld fit up, and we're gonna TIG weld these guys all the way out. A few things we need to do here. First, I'll do a little prepping here, and then uh, show you guys how to two hole, a square level, and then have some tips and tricks on how we're gonna TIG weld this thing out. So one of the first things we need to do is we need to prep this thing up. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna stick my fitting on here, grab a marker, soapstone, whatever you got. I'm gonna mark this guy right here. That's gonna tell me how far I need to clean this. So that somebody tells me where my fitting is. So I wanna clean a good half inch past that. So go ahead and get our Tiger Paul fired up and this is coated. Get it off here a little faster, then we'll go ahead and finish and clean it up with the end grinder and the flap over. All right, so we got the pipe prepped up. Uh, one more thing we want to do real quick is we'll go ahead and knock the paint off the edge of this flange here. So when we weld it, we don't end up with that paint in there and contaminate our weld. Now that everything's cleaned up, what we'll do is go ahead, stick our flange back up here. We'll make sure we put our hand on here and bottom this thing out. We'll mark this guy here again with the marker. So what this does here is when you're fitting up socket welds, you wanna make sure you have an eighth of an inch gap inside of here. What that does is that allows for the expansion of the pipe whenever this thing's in service and it gets hot. That pipe's gonna span in there. If that's bottomed out, that's gonna cause that pipe to expand and push down on that flange and separate that weld. So we got that on there. One good tip to know how far you need to take it is, is you'll slide this flange out. You'll take an eighth of an inch wire, which is usually what I use to weld these up, and stick that on there where you have an eighth of an inch between your mark and your flange. Next step here, take the old trusty dusty two hole pins, put them in here. Make sure we put the short side over so we can get in there with the TIG rig. Really don't have to two hole this right now because it is the first piece on the spool. We're doing, going ahead and doing the demonstration so you guys know how to do this. All right, get this thing all leveled up. Make sure I still got my eighth of an inch. So for some of you guys that have done a little bit of welding, you notice whenever you put these tacks on here, it draws your fit big time. So just me doing this, one little uh, trick is once you put that talc on there and you go across it, pull the heat back across it with the TIG rig. So that helps, that's gonna roll this flange and it's gonna roll it back. It's gonna roll your bubble one way when you're welding. You pull the heat, Back across the tack, it's gonna pull that bubble back the other way and set it just perfect. All right, so we're ready for our first tack. I'm gonna put this tack in here. And as soon as I pull off this, as fast as I can before that tack cools, see how this flange is leaning like this? I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and pull it back up. So it's a lot less work for me to go ahead and readjust and square this fit up on, for the next tack. Okay, eighth of an inch gap, pretty level on the bubble. We'll put our first tack on. Now we got the first tack in there. We we'll go ahead and pull these out. Next is we're gonna square this thing up for the second tack. Use our two foot framing square for this. I mean, you can use a smaller square, longer square, whatever you want. I mean, the longer the square, the more accurate you're gonna be on your fitting because you can measure across a, a more of a span. So this, I can already seal. This is kind of crooked. Kind of get it where we need it. Measure this here. We'll come up to a good even number. I'm gonna go ahead and well, a solid number. We're gonna go to three inches. We'll come back over here. We're sitting at about three and a sixteenth. So one thing you gotta do is keep in mind when you tack this bottom side here, that's actually gonna draw that down. So if I'm already bigger on this side, I put tack. It's gonna pull it at least another sixteenth, and I'm gonna be out a solid eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump this, open this up a little bit more. I want to be off about a sixteenth of an inch. Remeasure it here. Go back to three over here. Sitting right at three. Give it a little bump. Three, over here, just under three. So I'm gonna put a tack on the bottom now to hold that. Bottom tack's in, go ahead and double check it. Make sure we're still good. If not, you can always heat up a tack, smack it with a hammer if you need to, break that tack and move it around. Three and three, dead nuts. All right, so we got the top and bottom tack in. Now we're gonna check the sides for square. 
So there's a couple ways we can do this. We'll go ahead and use the square and the tape measure the first way and then I'll show you one other way real quick. So, same thing, we'll do a square up here. Find it's a good solid number. We'll go to three again, I must like three. So we're at three and two and three quarters. So Ben's this side over here is a little bit tighter. I wanna smack this side of the flange over here and bring it in. But when I do that, I'll go ahead and hit on the outside ring. I wanna make sure you don't hit the face of the flange here because if you do that and ding it, then your flange is no good no more because it won't seal up when you put the gasket on. Make sure we smack right here, not on the face. Give her a good little love tap. We need a quarter of an inch. Back up here, three. So we're about an eighth of an inch off. If I can get this within a sixteenth, I'll be happy because then I can go ahead and tack one side and it'll pull it over for me. All right, three, two and 15 16 So the bend this side is tighter. If I come over here and tack this wider side, a nice little quarter of an inch tack. Give it a second, look cool. It'll pull over just perfect. I'll throw my fourth tack in. We'll be good to go. All right, all four tacks are in. What I like to do now is I go ahead and double check it. There's usually something somewhere is gonna be out just a little bit. If it is, we can start quartering this thing out and weld the quarter first that needs to pull over and that'll start getting our fit nice and straight. So. So I'll show you guys another way to go ahead and square this up. We come across the face of this flange right here. We come in here with this uh, angle or speed square. The speed square here is already, it's kind of been modified a little bit. You notice I took and cut out the, the corner of this thing right here. What that does is that allows you to slip over top of a flange or a socket weld and get in there and square this thing up without having to use a tape measure. This is the more speedy way, the faster way. All right, so if you look here, that thing lined up is pretty dang good. A Little bit of a gap on the bottom. So that being said, if I quarter this thing out, I want to quarter one of these bottom quarters first. We'll check the side here real quick. All right, so that's about a, right around 16th out too. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start with this quarter here. Then we'll jump over here, do this quarter, come back, do the bottom quarter. Then we'll finish with this other top quarter right here. After I get that pass in, I'll go ahead and check it again. And that'll tell me what way I can go when I go to roll this thing out and make that final weld. All right, so first pass is in here. We'll go ahead and do a double check the squares. Make sure we're good to go for the second pass. And if it needs to draw any more, that'll tell me where I need to start and where I need to end. All right, so he's lined up here. And I don't know if you can get a whole lot closer than that. You come that way just a little bit towards the squares, top and bottom, pretty dead nuts. So we could actually do the bottom first if we want to. So. What that tells me is I need to weld this bottom side here first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weld this and roll it and weld it and roll it to keep it up on top. Ben's wearing a tripod and we have the opportunity to do that. Go ahead and switch my cup sizes here. Go to a little bit bigger one so it doesn't catch on me. Go to number 12 here. We were using a number eight. Flip the tungsten in around while we're at it. So like I said, I need to do the bottom first. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this puppy up. Go ahead and bottom be on the side. Fire in the hole. All right, there is the TIG welded out, socket weld flange. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.